Productions. I am an atheist because I am moral, honest. Who says I ever became an atheist? I was always an atheist. I first started to become an atheist when I began to realize that the world does not seem like a product of a wise and just God. Christians are saying it is. I continue to be an atheist because I believe logic is the key to truth and that key has given me. I'd like to say some reasons that I'm not accustomed to expressing. First, I'm atheist and I've become quite defensive to Christians over the years. The reason for this is the violent oppression I've encountered I was born of the Christians I've disagreed with I went to church. about our views. I never felt the presence of God. I used to judge people, whether they be gay, Islamic, etc. I was a judgmental piece of crap. I, I let it get the best of me. My life was becoming total crap. I won't get into the details, but God never helped me when I needed Him. I looked at science and it provides facts and evidence. You don't always become an atheist. Violence. Life in my case, everyone is born an atheist. The world I never picked up a fairy tale to believe in, so I stayed an atheist. You are assuming every atheist had picked up a faith after birth at some point and later left it. I became an atheist because as I look around, I have seen how religions treat other religions and atheists. I've seen man's inhumanity towards man through religious wars, terrorism, etc. I've seen churches take in billions of dollars in tax-free money. And I see, oh, after 2,000 years of tithing, we still have children dying because of poverty and preventable diseases. The church could stop this. Televangelist does not ease the pain hypocrisy when it can't afford to. Inhumanity. Judgmental Christians. I was not born a Christian. I was born an atheist. Catholic school. Evangelical zealots. Dogmatic thinking, etc., etc., etc. Greetings, beloved friends and YouTubers alike. Pastor Jabit here. These videos are only allowed to be 10 minutes. I don't know if that'll be enough time, but I will try to fit all of this into that short span. Um, as all of you know, I sent a video out the other day requiring or requesting, excuse me, uh, atheists to respond saying, why did you become an atheist? Um, and by and large, the responses were magnificent. I want to thank you all for somewhere near 152 responses. And I, I did read them all, and they're still coming in. There's some others that I have not read because they're coming in right now as I'm making this video. But I want to thank you all so much for responding, uh, whether it be through text, through email, or through video response. Uh, there were a few that I, I requested, I asked to make videos, and you guys did so, and I want to thank you. I want to thank the Shan, I want to thank um, Croesus for making his video, I want to thank um, Ezra Anak for making a video, and there's a bunch of you that did make videos. I think there were somewhere like 10 video responses. Let me look and see really quickly, I'm sorry. Um, but I want to thank you all for doing so because what you've done is helped me to understand some things. 25 video responses. Uh, I've looked at all of them actually. And my hunch, my, my, my thought that I had um, is in many ways correct. But there were some other things that was revealed to me through your comments that really helped me become enlightened as to your way of thinking and understanding. The first thing I want to say is when I came on YouTube two and a half years ago, I really only came on here to look at videos. I only started uploading videos uh, about a year ago. 
and when I started uploading videos I became a member of the Stickem community as well as the Christian YouTube community and basically and I will be man enough to admit this uh, most of my videos at the time was monkey see monkey do type of videos um, I, I saw people bashing atheists I saw Christians bashing atheists so I decided that hey that's that's what we do that's what Christians do here on YouTube uh, without ever have even meeting a confirmed atheist and I know that's a bad way to say that without ever meeting a person who was an actual atheist I made a video called atheists are out out of my frustration of debating with atheists in Stickham and trying to hold my own in my opinion not doing too bad but it just kept becoming something that I was getting more and more frustrated with I made that video atheists are out deciding that I wouldn't debate atheists anymore uh, because not because I felt pressured or backed up into a corner but because it became to me um, just something that I wasn't able to accomplish a goal so I stopped doing it but then I, I continued to make videos taking pot shots at atheists uh, some of you will remember the video I made called my meeting with an atheist where I staged a meeting with an atheist in my house pretending to show how mean and evil atheists are and I got some pretty strong comments and those comments were deserved because if you poke anyone uh, if you prod anyone if you if you if you take a smack at someone you're going to get a reaction possibly negative <clears throat> but in that time I've taken m all of my atheist negative atheist videos down and yesterday's video was the first video that I made uh, to atheist in a long time so I did all of that um, because I had to rethink and I wanted to get to know some atheist and and just have conversation with them without talking about God without bringing up the Bible without bringing up Christianity and get to know them as people and I was able to do that with people like Tommy uh, the Shan you know she and I have had some email conversations uh, big evasive I was able to have some conversations with him even uh, like Lord disturbed and I mean the list goes on and on uh, I've been able to have com conversations with them without bringing up religion and more and more in these conversations I began to realize that atheist <laughs> big surprise to you know not big surprise to me but this is being sarcastic big surprise are human just like me down to the wire down to the guts down to the blood and the pumping of the heart we're all exactly the same human so I begin to ask myself where did this thing atheism come from and why did people become atheists? And my hunch that I had, that I was telling you all about in the last video, was this. I believe, yesterday before I, I read your comments, I believed that atheism was created by the religious. And I know that's going to be a big shock for a lot of Christian folk, but, and Muslims. I believe that atheism was created by the religious folk. Uh, created by religious people because I believe in our compilation of the Bible our teaching of the scriptures our presentation of the God we believe in has been so wrong that it has soured so many people to the point where they don't want to hear it when you have people who say they believe in the almighty and everlasting God the ever living God but then they turn right around and they create these polygamous camps and, and, and impregnate children. Something's wrong. When you have bishops and preachers who, who, who take collections in the millions while their members go impoverished, something is wrong. When you teach a child, if you don't tell the truth, God will strike you down. Something is wrong.